Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another interview with another very special person, Tejaswar. He's currently pursuing his master's at CSU Long Beach uh, in computer science. Uh, before we go further in this interview, would love to hear a little bit about you, uh, Tejaswar. Hi everyone, my name is Tejaswar Jaitli. I am from Mumbai, from India. Uh, I came to Long Beach in 2021 to pursue my master's in computer science. Uh, I also did my bachelor's in computer science. Then I worked for a year in Axel Bank slash pre-charge as a software engineer, working in the front-end team. And yeah, that's about it. I'll be graduating next semester in May 2023. That is awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, let's get right into it. Uh, the first question or the first step which everyone you know does in their journey of pursuing yeah. masters in US is, they start making a list of universities and try to build their profile so that they can get into those universities. So mm -hmm. how was your profile like? What were your GRE TOEFL scores, uh, GPA, all of those things? And as you shared before the interview, you had few admits, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so how did you, what was your thought process to decide Long Beach over your other admits? And if you could share your other admits as well, that would be helpful. All right. So I got 300 in GRE. my bachelor's mm -hmm. and uh, so I like researched on different websites and just uh, scanned through different admits of people getting into universities and then I made a list out of it uh, and uh, uh, location was high priority on my list so California was a major factor where I wanted to uh, get an admit so I I researched and I found CSU systems. I saw there are a lot of universities under CSU uh, and they have a good ROI, like the fees is not that high. And uh, people on LinkedIn, I saw that they are getting good jobs in different uh, various companies. So then I started uh, messaging people on LinkedIn to these different, uh, from these different universities. And uh, I started talking to them and Long Beach uh, had a good response. Students from Long Beach had a good response. Students from San Jose had good response and mm -hmm. East Bay had a good response. So that way, uh, according to uh, the responses, I made my list and made my priorities. And then I applied to them. So also I got a free, uh, like, I could apply for free in IIT Chicago. I, I don't know. There was something going on. So I applied there. Mm -hmm. So I talked to their students. I think that's a good university as well. So I got admit from IIT Chicago, CSU Fullerton, East Bay, and Long Beach. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, since uh, uh, I uh, two, three students from Long Beach uh, gave me a really in-depth review about it. So that made me confident, okay, I sh I can go in Long Beach. Like, I, that's a good option. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and it was uh, very near to the beach as well, which I wanted to go. So yeah, I selected Long Beach. Got it, got it. Thank you so much for sharing that. Now, yeah. once you uh, decide that you are going to go to one university, a particular university, mm -hmm. uh, the next thing that you try to figure out is, okay, how to reduce my total overall expenses or first understand the overall expenses. So let's go a little bit deep into that. Now, if you have to share your overall expenses over two years, mm -hmm. uh, in two parts, one is how much would you be investing in terms of your total tuition fees, right? Over the course of your okay. months. And what are your general monthly expenses? Okay. Uh, so student fees it's flat 20 lakhs you you can complete your master's in 20 lakhs here and uh, and i think that's a really good roi compared to the location higher because it's in uh, los angeles area so my rent is $3,000 per month and we are six members. So we pay around 550, 600, depending on which type of room we are living in. So it's mm -hmm. a little bit on the higher side and then other expenses add up. So I would say uh, you can uh, think about eight, 8, to nine, uh, 800 to $900 per month, your expenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got it, got it. 
Uh, now moving on to the next step, which is obviously the living part, and you touched upon it in terms of expenses. But what are those few communities where you see Indian students living generally, or you know, generally Indian students will live in one of the two or three communities? So what are those popular communities around CSU Long Beach, which uh, where which student prefer? Okay, so there are three uh, good communities near uh, CSU Long Beach. It's in the city. The college is in the city. The communities are in the city. Uh, there are good transport systems that go through all these communities and go inside the college. So I'll just name the communities in case somebody is watching who has already gotten an admit. One is Park Avenue, one is Beverly Plaza, and one is Bixby Village. So a lot of Indian students live there, good apartments, uh, yeah, a safe neighborhood, and yeah, uh, well connected to the other parts of the city as well. So yeah. Got it, got it. Now that was one of the points which I was going to ask about, which is safety, right? So Long Beach being part of like overall the LA mm -hmm. uh, uh, county, how is the, you know, safety aspect of it? Uh, can you still travel in late nights? Because during exams, you tend to, you know, stay in library or in university preparing. So how is the safety aspect? If you don't uh, travel during odd hours, it's like 100% safe. There's uh, nothing to worry about. But uh, considering odd hours, like, just avoid it. I haven't heard a lot of cases uh, regarding any crime but still it's because uh, there are some uh, different type of people that travel during night right so mm -hmm. they might not do something to you but still it's not the best experience right so avoid uh, traveling during late nights and uh, long beach is not a uh, like a night college it's like a commuters college people leave the campus after dark so Mm. It's better to come back and go to a cafe with your friends and study. You can study during uh, exam in your library. It's open throughout the night. But still, like I would then suggest to travel alone during odd hours. If you're with friends, it's fine. Yeah. Got it. Got it. It's safe. It's safe. It's 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 very far from the downtown area. Yeah, I have gone out uh, multiple times during odd hours to get groceries during night. It's totally safe. You don't have to worry about it. Mm. But be extra cautious when you are in a different country. That's all I want to say. Right, right. So we just have to be cautious about our surroundings and I think we should be fine. Yes. Uh, okay. Now, talking about the on-campus job scenario, how is the? Mm -hmm. what are those hot places where you tend to get on-campus jobs easily? Now, one of the things which I have observed in u.s universities is if you get a ta or ra mm -hmm. they tend to wave off or reduce your tuition fees is that also the case with csu long beach so i haven't heard anybody getting an ra in computer science i know students uh, who got ra in geographics uh, and their fees wasn't reduced Mm. Uh, he is my good friend. So that his uh, obviously his minimum uh, his salary is not minimum wage. He gets around seventeen dollars, whereas minimum wage is fifteen dollars. But uh, there are a lot of TAs in computer science, and they their fees doesn't get waived off. So mm. yeah, they have. I think their salary is around sixteen dollars uh, instead of the average fifteen dollars. So yeah, but no. Also, uh, I'll talk about uh, on-campus jobs right now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are plenty of on-campus jobs on CSU, Long Beach campus. There's no no need to worry about it. Uh, there's gym, there's uh, student center, gaming, uh, uh, gaming zone, bowling area, a bookstore, a lot of TA positions in, uh, uh, in a computer science department as well as in business department because business offers MIS, so they do require Python and other subjects, so we can work there as well. And there are like a lot of uh, on-campus jobs. You just do not have to worry about it at all. If you are coming in first semester, try to apply for on-campus job before you are here. If you don't do that, then you might have to wait a semester to get an on-campus job. But yeah, you, you you'll, you'll definitely get an on-campus job. There's no worry about it. It's fifteen dollars an hour. You'll earn around one thousand two hundred per month. Yeah, and I think that that's pretty much uh, that's good enough to you know pay for your 
at least in the expenses you can also save around 2 300 bucks if you are careful with your finance and yeah, you can invest it in uh stocks or anything else like i have seen my friends saving up around 3 4000 $5000 $5, and investing it in stocks over time so yeah mm. yeah 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 makes sense makes sense that's a, that's a good one uh now moving on to the uh, curriculum aspect of uh, mm-hmm. your uh, computer science program how is the overall program what are those subjects which really you know add value to your resume which mm-hmm. everyone if they can should take uh, at cslb all right so i i have talked all good things about uh, csu long beach yet so i don't want to make the best picture out of it i'll also highlight some downfalls and coursework is one of them it's it's good but it's a little bit obsolete i mean you the coursework should be updated as time goes on but that's not the case here a lot of subjects are like haven't been updated and i don't know why they don't update it uh, the faculties are really good they are uh the good thing about csu long beach is the faculties are lot of them are part time they come from los angeles and they are working in great companies uh some of the faculties that i studied in london were worked in nasa spacex universal studios uh and these kind of you know uh, companies so i think mm-hmm. faculties are good you can get lot of things out of them but the coursework are a little bit obsolete they are though very crucial core works uh, course so like uh, analysis of algorithm advanced software so these are like basic course work like basic building knowledge for you but you won't get those specialized core course work for a specific field so yeah got it got it uh, so thank you yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah uh yeah 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 uh now one of the other things which people try to find out is uh, or i actually try to figure out with universities is now cs seems to be a good enough program that people can apply to but what are some of the other programs in cslb which you see are uh, good or a lot of people coming for those programs uh i have seen a lot of people coming for civil and construction engineering good. and then our college of business is really good and they have this mis course mm. a lot of people go for that lot of good faculties there like really good faculties i work in a cafe that's just near college of business and i meet lot of faculties from there and they're really good and i've heard good things. so mis is a good course civil and construction is also a good course uh, electric is a, another course lot of indian students come to study mm. and yeah that's about it got it got it uh now moving on to the last part of our conversation which is uh, uh kind of the goal for everyone they want to get the experience in the industry here once they finish their masters mm-hmm. so how is the scenario with jobs and internships uh, you must have observed your seniors and your batchmates how are they getting yeah. internships how are they getting jobs uh, and what are some of the difficulties that they are facing or what are some of the learnings that you see from their experience so the university doesn't provide jobs like india like there is there's no on camp like uh, placement you have to find it yourself uh, when i did my research i saw a lot of people getting jobs like lot of them were already placed uh, seniors so and when i came here most of the seniors that were graduating when i was coming here had good jobs in their hand right now situation is not really good in like right now i don't know about future but people also get uh, like i know a lot of people getting in amazon but their offer has been like uh, delayed by 6 months so i cannot judge by this situation but judging by past situation i think it's a good university you can get into any company you like it's not like india that you need to be in a top notch company to get mm. in a Uh, you need to be in a top notch university to get into good companies you can be in any university and any company can hire you google amazon facebook so yeah i don't think you should worry about it you need, you need to concentrate on your skills and interview preparation and you can get through any company got it got it well thank you so much atayas uh, for sharing all of this information today uh, for yeah, everyone who is watching definitely mention your favorite take away from this interview in the comment section below and i'll see you in the next